This video is to step through as best I can all seven of my Burroughs B7011 Nixie tubes. These tubes are 50 to 60 years old. Five of them are working correctly. Uh, number six and seven have some issues which I'll go in this video. My goal is to go through this in one uncut video so that you can see that there's no trickery or sleight of hand in testing each of these. I have a test jig. I have a Lambda power supply set at 300 volts, which is the nominal firing voltage for these tubes. And over here I have a simple box with the right size socket for the tubes and a switch, a rotary switch to cycle one at a time through each of the tubes and each of the segments in the tubes. The socket isn't made for repeated insertion and removal of the tubes, so I'm holding the tubes in by hand uh, and I might have to reseat it a couple times for segments if I'm not getting all the pins, but I can't risk plugging and unplugging these tubes many times. I've numbered each of the tubes, and so we'll start with tube number one, um, in which all segments are good. So now I've got that tube seated in the socket. I'll try to try to move my hand out of the way. This can be a bit tricky. Let me see if I can get just a bit closer here. The break you're seeing in the number zero is nothing to do with the tube. It has to do with the angle of the camera and being, actually being able to not be blocked by those plates in the tube. So there's zero, one, two, three, four I have trouble with. Let me wiggle it in the socket. That's a problem with the socket, not with the tube. Same issue, I'm going to get seated in the socket and back to zero. So that was tube number one, back at its home here. And we'll go to tube number two. Tube number two. And we'll step through all these segments again. Sorry. There we go. That was tube two. We'll go on to tube three. You can see how beautifully shaped the numerals are on these tubes. Going back to, down to tube number four. Find the key. And here we go again. Tube number five coming up. Again, the socket's an issue. I just push this down better. Okay. Now tube number six has an issue. The numeral seven is not working. 
If you're making a Nixie clock, though, this could work for the tens indicator because you only need zero, one, and two. So that won't be an issue if that's what your application is going to be. Seven is broken, as you can see. Eight is not. Okay. And then finally, tube number seven. It's got only four working numerals. You can use that for tests and prototyping, whatever. I'll step through and see if I can get them. Show you which ones are working. Two is working. Three, four, six, and that's, oh, eight is working as well. Two, four, three, six, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's getting better. Huh. Let's try this again. No zero. Two, three, four. Six and eight. All right, so you can see there's issues with that, but that shows the extent. So there's all there's all seven tubes in their little homes here. Um, they are the boxes you can see are reasonably good condition. Um, there's some weather staining and that kind of thing on these boxes, but you know they're good enough. So as I said, five perfectly good tubes, nice and bright and clear and one tube with a missing numeral seven and then the final tube with those a number of different missing numerals so that concludes this test and if you're happy in bidding and buying these um, i'll also include this little test jig it's just a very simple with a socket that fits and a dropping resistor there on the anode uh, to make sure that you're not over current to those uh, segments and blowing them up. So that concludes this video.